Hi friends. Today we are going to discuss fluid mechanics and machines. Chapter number 1 introduction. So this subject is most important subject for all competitive exams like gate TRB polytechnic exams and all state government exams. So before going to the presentation, so please subscribe our channel and share to your friends. So here we are discuss <coughs> some important formulas and points in this chapter so first specific weight or weight density it is nothing the weight per volume specific gravity density of fluid divided by density of standard fluid it is unitless parameter the specific gravity of water 1 at 4 degree celsius next one newton law of viscosity so tau is equal to mu into du divided by dy so du divided by dy is nothing it is a velocity gradient for newtonian fluid the coefficient of viscosity remain constant so next one dynamic viscosity the si unit newton seconds per meter square cg at unit dyne seconds per centimeter square it is also called poise so one poise is equal to 1 by 10 newton seconds per meter square next kinematic viscosity it is new that is equal to mu by rho in si unit meter square per second cgs unit centimeter square per seconds so it is called stoke one stoke is equal to 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square per seconds so some important point related to viscosity viscosity of liquid due to cohesion viscosity of gas due to momentum molecular transfer so viscosity of liquid decreases with increases in temperature viscosity of gas increases with increases in temperature so next types of fluid the fluid can be classified in two categories newtonian fluid non newtonian fluid so newtonian fluid it's obeys newton's law in non newtonian fluid again it can be classified time independent time dependent the time independent fluids are classified dilatant fluid bingham plastic fluid pseudo fluid so this dilatant fluid that examples butter quicksand sugar solutions bingham plastic fluid the examples are sewage sludge drilling mud toothpaste etc the pseudo fluids paper bulb rubber solution lipsticks paint blood etc so next one time dependent fluid that is thixotropic fluid the thixotropic fluid the viscosity increases with time examples printer ink and enamels next rheopatic it is a viscosity decreases with time example gypsum solution in water and bentonite solution so next formula bulk modulus bulk modulus k is equal to change in pressure divided by change in volume divided by original volume so next compressibility 1 by bulk modulus next surface tension so surface tension is inversely proportional to the temperature it is force per unit length it is due to cohesion only so surface tension for inside the jet 2 sigma by d inside the drop pressure is equal to 4 sigma by d inside the bubble pressure is equal to 8 sigma by d so next one capillary action it is due to both aggregation and cohesion the diameter of the capillary tube should be greater than 6 mm and must be less than 3 cm the capillary action h is equal to 4 sigma cos alpha divided by gamma into d so the theta 0 degree will make in water in glass theta make 128 degree mercury in glass so this tnpsa equation the capillary rise in clay greater than 10 meter capillary rise in stone greater than 20 to 50 cm so next we are there discuss about related to problem in this chapter so here first problem the velocity over the plate is given by u equal to 2 by 3 y minus y square in which u is the velocity in meter per second at a distance y meter above the plate determine the shear stress at y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0.2 meter take dynamic viscosity of the fluid as 9.65 poise we are discussed related to the formula the shear stress tau is equal to 
nu into du divided by dy here u that means velocity has given two, two third of y minus y square so now velocity gradient du divided by dy is equal to two third of minus two y so now the y distance has given 0 and 0.2 so du divided by dy at y equal to 0 you get a value 2 by 3 so it is equal to 0 0.667 similarly du divided by dy is equal to 0 0.2 meter that means 2 by 3 minus 2 into 0 0.2 you will get 0 0.267 so finally the mu is equal to 9.65 pi so 9.65 divided by 10 you will get Newton seconds per meter square. Now shear stress at y equal to 0, 9.65 divided by 10 into 0.667. This value will obtain above. So you will get the shear stress y equals 0, 0 0.6376 Newton per meter square. Similarly, shear stress y at 0 0.2 meter. So 9.65 divided by 10 into 0 0.267, you will get 2576 Newton per meter square so problem number two a plate of 2 into 10 to the power of 6 mm square is pulled with a speed of 0.4 meter per seconds relative to another plate a distance at a distance of 0.2 mm from it find the force and power required to maintain the speed take viscosity as one twice so here the area of the plate in mm square so converted into meter square and speed of velocity du directly given 0.4 meters per seconds the distance between the plate dy is 0.2 mm so it is converted into 0.2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter and viscosity 1 pi so 1 pi is equal to 1 divided by 10 newton seconds per meter square so here we are asking shear force and power required so shear force is equal to stress is equal to tau by a so from this the force is equal to sorry stress is equal to force by area from this stress into area you will get force similarly power required p is equal to force into velocity so now stress tau is equal to mu u into mu into du divided by dy so that is newton's law you know all well so now mu has given one pi that means one divided by 10 you will get 0 0.1 into 0 0.4 divided by 0.2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 you will get stress is equal to 200 newton per meter square now force is equal to 200 into 2 you will get 400 newton then power is equal to force into velocity so force is equal to 400 you will obtain above the above and velocity has given 0.4 so 400 into 0.4 you will get 160 watts so problem number three the horizontal plate are placed 1.25 centimeter apart the space between the between them filled with oil of viscosity 14 pi. Calculate the shear stress in oil if upper plate is move with velocity 5 meter per seconds. Here the space between the plate dy has given 1.25 centimeter converted into meter 0 0.0125 meter and viscosity mu is 14 pi so 14 divided by 10 you will get newton seconds per meter square so velocity 5 meter per seconds so shear stress tau is equal to mu into du divided by dy substitute all the all the values you will get shear stress 560 newton per meter square so problem number four find the kinematic viscosity of an oil having density 800 kg per meter cube the shear stress at a point in oil is 0.4 newton per meter square and velocity gradient at the point is 0.2 per seconds so now find the kinematic viscosity you know all well kinematic viscosity is nothing dynamic viscosity divided by rho so the dynamic viscosity mu into du divided by dy from this you find mu so mu is equal to 0.4 divided by 2 you will get 2 newton seconds per meter square so now the kinematic viscosity nu is equal to mu divided by rho that means 2 divided by 800 you will get 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter square per seconds now next it is converted into strokes you will get 25 strokes next problem number 5 determine the bulk modulus of velocity of a liquid if the pressure of the liquid 
liquid increases from 70 newton centi newton per centimeter square to 130 newton per centimeter square the volume of the liquid decreased by 0.15 percentage so change in pressure 130 minus 70 you will get 60 newton per centimeter square and change in volume to be original volume so it is decreased so in formula you will you have one minus it is decreased that my substitute here one more minus so it comes positive so 0.15 divided by 100 so substitute you will get the k value 4 into 10 to the power of newton per centimeter square so thank you friends i hope this video is more is most important and it is very useful for your competitive exam so regularly watch our channel we are updating each chapter and each chapter problems thank you